Hey folks, Larry's here. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Now, we're going to talk about a pen that you probably already heard of, but well, let's hear it again from me, from my point of view, from the way I see it. It's no other than the, the new flagship pen for Fountain Pen Revolution. It's the V2 Jaipur. And I'm thinking that Jaipur is a city in India. I could be wrong, but that's what I go with. So, first of all, here is the Jaipur V1 right here. Okay? So, the new one has really come a long way. The new one kicks it. A special thank you to Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution for sending me this pen for review. Stunning fountain pen. Let's just get that right off the bat. It looks better in person than it does in a picture. It really is that good looking of a pen. And this one here is the blue cracked ice. And they come in two other different colors. I believe an orange and a brown every night. But this is the newest right here. Now, let's get with the dimensions of the pen. The length of the pen cap is 5.5 inches. And when you post the pen, it's 6.5 inches. Nice, beautiful blue. This is an acrylic got a nice wide silver band with FPR in front and as we travel up this beautiful cap it's got a nice functional sturdy clip and let's go to the top of the video and it it looks similar to the V1 kind of goes like into a cone of uh, a cone type and as we go down the barrel it thins out and right here is your blank cap and a little black band there it's a screw uh, cap set that aside as you go down pin there's your window that's really cool that's really important. That's going to let you know how low your pen's getting with ink or when you're out. And there's really not much of this step down at all. And the, the grip is a nice size grip. Now here's the V1. Look at the difference. Bam. Okay, a little bit shorter. Um, come a long way, but it was time. What's really cool about the new flagship pen by Fountain Pen Revolution is the way I like a nib to be easy simple stress-free want to change out a nib no more friction fit pulling them out and getting them all lined up to put them back in the correct way just get your finger here here and let's unscrew the nib as simple as that one two and three there you have it there is your nib one unit so you can order other nib units from kevin and they'll come like this if you want the whole section like that and just pick out your nib sizes which come in extra fine fine broad stub steel flex steel ultra flex and you can just get it and stick it right in and easy to clean i'll have a link to kevin's video showing you how easy it is to disassemble and cleaning this pen. I thought it was best just to send you right to 
is video. To get a, just a good look of that. Let's take off the blind cap for a minute. There is the blind cap. And that's for the piston filler. Piston film, you got premium acrylic or ebonite body cap and blind cap or blind piston cap, rather, with the screw on cap. Cool. Number six screw in swappable nibs units featuring the ebonite feed. I do prefer the ebonite over the plastic. Why is that? A wetter nib. I'm not too wor much worried about if my pen may tend to leak some into the cap, you know, when you put it in your bag and carry it around and toss it in your car. I prefer a wet nib. And it, it accepts uh, the standard number six nibs with also plastic feed. Now there's a note there that there is some posted length variance due to small variance in the barrel thickness. Okay? Again, the weight is 19 G's. Beautiful pen. What do you guys think about it? Leave your comments below. This is the new flagship from Fountain Pen Revolution here in Plano, Texas is where Kevin's hides out at it. You can get uh, go to his, uh, he's got a small little storefront there as well. But you might want to check his website, see what days he's open as well. And he's got a lot of other goodies. You just need to visit his shop and see what's up. So, I was going to fill this pen up with my uh, Fountain Pen Revolution Blue. I don't have any more. It's out. Well, okay, I was going to go with black. I'm out of that too. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll use uh, one of my other favorites, the KWZ Hawaii Blue Ink. So what do you say? Let's fill this up before your eyes. Let's take this blind cap off. And let's get ready to fill him up. I can't wait to taste this beautiful pen. And we're going to go ahead and send this down. Here we go. Brand new. And you see the piston going down, up and down. Can you see that pretty good? Okay. So it's down. So let's stick it in this bottle of ink and get a little look-see. Take your time filling it. That should be enough. Yes, sir. That's a nice feel right there. Wow. That's impressive. I have some other name brand pens that when you fill on them, they don't either fill a full, they're like halfway full, and you got to do it again, do it again, then finally they get full. But this one just filled right up with no problem. And I'll put this blind cap back on. And just the rhodia blank paper off. So let's get to writing with this pen. So want to see it posted? Sure. Beautiful. And it's not over long. It's nice. Okay. The new. Look at that flex. I'm dropping that ink out. Super nice. Whew. This has a flex nib in it. Look at that. Wow. Impressive.
Now we'll do a little flexing here. Here's just a regular downstroke. Look at that ink coming out, cross stroke. Now we're gonna put some pressure on it and put a little flex. Look at that. And no pressure. There it is, baby. Really a nice fountain pen. Affordable as well. The ink I'm using. And did a little wet test while we had it. Favorite part of the video. Does it do it? Yes. Now look at here. Yes. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 And you can always use a, which I don't have on hand this time, a blotting card, which I thought I had. I was going to show you. And you can just blot it and get it to to dry quicker but i don't have one sorry about that so forgive me that so the new flagship fountain pen by fountain pen revolution the v2 jaipur with a flex nib in it if you want an orange, they got an orange. If you want a brown, that brown ebonite, they got that. Ebonite feed, plastic feed versus that. For me, I prefer a ebonite feed, especially when I'm doing some flexing because that ebonite feed will really hang in there with a nice flex nib. And this pen, this nib is to die for. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Yeah. So, Kevin. Thank you again, my friend, for sending me out this pen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. To all my viewers, if you're interested in purchasing this pen, I believe you can you still use Larry's. Larry15. That's the code for what? 15% uh, off. So you might want to check that out as well. But I highly recommend this pen. I'm going to say... You're not going to go wrong with this pen. Very, very sweet. Good looking. Feels great in the hand. Writes extremely well. A pen you can be proud of. You're going to get your ink window. You're going to get, if you go a flex, this is just a regular flex nib. You're going to get a great flex nib. A great feed as well. A nice size grip. A great looking acrylic material a nice usable firm clip that's going to keep your pin in place just a well-designed nice looking pin you're not going to go wrong how much is the pin well I was going to tell you but I'm not go to uh, fountain pin revolution site check it out you're going to be surprised when you see, when I say affordable. That's it for today on the new flagship from Fountain Pen Revolution, the V2. Jaipur. And this one has a flex nib. All right, folks, that winds it up for today. So, hit a like on that video for today. kind of helps me out as well. And don't forget, if you're new... Subscribe to my channel now. Don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I put up another video. Take care, my friends. God bless each and every one of you wonderful pin enthusiast folks out there. And as always, don't text and drive. Later, my friends. I'm out of here.